A number of residents over the last 18 months have encountered increased antisocial behaviour. Unfortunately, it is on a lower level, which makes it extremely difficult to find the solution. For example, people scratching cars, um, we've had a few windows smashed, we've just had general nuisance. Uh, my colleague Julie Edge organised um, a meeting on Monday, which um, there was representatives from the local commissioners, the, the police was there, um, youth services was represented, and obviously ourselves as, um, as MHKs for the local area. And we're desperately trying to find um, a, a satisfactory solution on behalf of the residents who keep raising this matter over the last 18 months to us as national politicians. Well, as, as I've said, they've, they've had um, incidents of um, cars being scratched, windows being smashed. But more important, more um, detailed, should we say, has been a continuous antisocial behaviour, people just causing a nuisance to neighbours. I mean, this is a fabulous village to live in. People, it is a wonderful area to bring up kids, but there's just been isolated pockets of incidents continuous for the over the last 18 months, and we're desperately trying to find a solution amongst ourselves to um, resolve it. Do you feel positive moving forward that you'll be able to find a solution? Well, it's, it's a case that a lot of the, the, the age of the individuals causing these incidents is under the age of 14, which makes it incredibly difficult in law to actually prosecute. And there seems to be a reluctance, should we say, with the courts to prosecute under 14s or to bring them to account. Now that makes it very, very difficult. So what we've got to do is work with the commissioners, work with social services, make sure there's a greater presence with the police because the police a lot of the times have their hands tied as well because of the legislation and the age of the individuals involved. So it's a case of working with social services, work with the families involved because I think a lot of the times the families would say that they're struggling with these individuals. So it, it, there's not an easy solution but what we do need to do is give the families the support we need to make sure that the police are better, have a greater presence in our village, but make sure that um, social services also have that um, protection of legislation um, and guidance to make sure that they can deal with these antisocial um, misbehaving as quickly as they arise. More music for the Isle of Man. 3FM.